is approximately 1600 on Thursday, May 16, 2013, eastbound on City Route 86 in Southern Arizona. This is an east-west highway over 40 miles north of the international border with Mexico that never intersects the border at any point. Rather, this highway connects local communities in Southern Arizona. It is not a nexus point for border traffic. Nonetheless, the Nestle stopped the Department of Homeland Security from diverting scarce border security resources away from the actual border to instead harass and intimidate domestic traffic inside the country, absent suspicion at suspicionless checkpoints, like the one they've set up uh, near mile marker 147 along this highway. Mile marker 147 is just a few miles outside of Three Points, Arizona, so this checkpoint uh, has an very large adverse effect upon individuals who live uh, in the uh, area and who commute uh, through here on a regular basis, such as myself. The checkpoint is manned by armed border patrol agents who aren't actually uh, patrolling the border. Additionally, there are specially trained canine units stationed at those checkpoints uh, with handlers that utilize these uh, dogs at pre-primary that is, when vehicles are still entering the checkpoint and slowing down to a stop and waiting for uh, uh, and, and, and waiting to be processed through the checkpoint at the primary stop location and at uh, the secondary inspection station. These dogs are dual trained to not only protect people, of which there will always be at least one person in a vehicle going through uh, one of these checkpoints at least for the foreseeable future but also narcotics. And of course, the dogs don't differentiate between uh, the two. The utilization of these uh, drug dogs in this capacity is a violation of the city of Indianapolis versus Edmond because it makes it clear that one of the primary purposes of this checkpoint isn't limited to immigration, but is rather expansive and includes um, drug interdiction as well. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down drug and general law enforcement checkpoints as illegal and unconstitutional in uh, 2000 in a case known as City of Indianapolis versus Edmond. To highlight the fact that these uh, checkpoints are utilized for drug intervention, the DEA also plays a prominent role here uh, with a suspicionless camera uh, array system that has been set up within the boundaries of the checkpoints. This uh, camera array consists of two automated license plate readers and five or six additional cameras for recording everything there is to report about vehicles entering and exiting the area. This information is stored by EDA and it's shared with other uh, enforcement agencies, both at the federal and uh, local and state levels. There's also a wanted felon board at this checkpoint. That also highlights the fact that the checkpoint is not limited to brief immigration queries, but is rather being used for general law enforcement purposes. All this despite the fact that the U.S. Supreme Court um, made it clear when they authorized limited scope immigration checkpoints set up uh, along nexus points for border traffic within 100 air miles of the border that uh, while they may have the power to briefly stop and seize individuals to ask a few immigration questions at, uh, um, at the checkpoints, any further detention or any searching had to be premised on either consent or probable cause. Border Patrol ignores these limitations and pretty much does whatever they want at these checkpoints. They've also been teaming up with local law enforcement to a uh, uh, to a greater degree in recent months, both locally here, and they've been doing it in, uh, at other checkpoints uh, for at least the last couple of years. Looks like we do indeed have a Pima County Sheriff's deputy here. Hey, sir, what do you think? 
Yes, it is. He's filming right now. He's asking for a supervisor. Is there anyone else in the vehicle? No. Okay. Anyone else in the number of Have a good day, sir. Free to go. Free to go. 704. is the number on the Sheriff's Department's uh, vehicle there. I want to find what the Sheriff's Department uh, uh, deputy is doing here. Ma'am, could I speak to you? Ma'am, could I speak to you for a second? I can go over there? Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh, by all means. No problem. Hi, uh, Pima County Sheriff's Department, I yes. assume, and uh, you are, um, sorry, Deputy... Uh, Deputy Wren, what are you, what are you asking? Uh, I'll Deputy get to that in just a second. Do you have a, um, a badge number? I sure do, but since I haven't done anything with you, I mean, I don't understand why you're asking for my name. Like because I'm, I'm quite curious as to what you're doing here. Could you, uh, could you give me an explanation as to why the Pima County Sheriff's Department is stage, has a vehicle stationed here and a deputy at a federal uh, Border Patrol checkpoint? Well, the street is also in Arizona. Yeah, but this or has been designated problem. as a federal checkpoint here. Exactly, yeah. and um, it's actually a joint operation. We this is a joint operation. We get federal money. To, federal to do this, so to be uh, to available or be present during these uh, checkpoint operations? Yes. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm enforcing the speed limit, protecting their safety, uh -huh. because those are put out actually by Department of Transportation. Either uh, DO, DOT, okay. Yeah, so all, all right. the speed limits by Department of Transportation, not Border Patrol. Right. So you have to obey the speed limit, and that's kind of what I'm doing. And also, if they find um, any personal use marijuana and things like that, then I will cite okay. cite people for the state law instead of a felony okay. federal statute. So I've been going through here for quite a few years now. And in fact, this was initially set up in January of 2008, as I'm sure you're aware. It's a little bit further down the road at that time. But they moved it closer after the uh, construction took place here. Um, and this is um, beginning of this year is when I started to see more Pima County Sheriff's uh, deputies uh, present around the checkpoint. Not all the time, but some, some of the times. So how often are you guys uh, here, roughly, would you say? And would you say that's a fair approximation that has probably been basically from this year on where you've had a, a greater presence at, at this uh, checkpoint than you I have in the past? The check, I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but as far as I can remember, the checkpoint operations have been this year and there maybe four times a month. Okay. All right. Um, now, what uh, level of interaction do you have with the uh, Border Patrol here with regards to, let's say the Border Patrol um, has something that they believe it, uh, may be a violation of federal immigration law. Do you guys get in, involved uh, directly with that, or do you allow the Border Patrol to do their no, thing? No, I have no federal powers. Okay. My, my, my arrest powers are only through the state of Arizona, and I don't enforce them. Okay. Are there any Pima County Sheriff's deputies that may be at this checkpoint at any given time who are uh, cross-trained or cross-certified to engage in federal immigration law enforcement activities that you know of? I don't know about that. I'm not cross-trained, but they generally stay at the actual border. Okay, so 
if there are so, or if there are th those types of deputies who are cross trained, they're usually doing line more line operations as opposed to these internal exactly. checkpoint operations. What about on the other side of things, the border patrol? Uh, uh, what border patrol agents? Um, uh, what powers do they have to enforce state or local uh, local laws? Unless they're cross trained, none. None. Okay. So they have no authority whatsoever to uh, uh, to enforce any sort of a. Um, the laws that you would enforce as a Pima County Sheriff's uh, deputy. Correct. Okay. So you're, you're you're claiming that there is a very clear distinction with regards to your role here at this checkpoint and what the Border Patrol is, and you guys don't interlap uh, or inter. Um, well, yes, they do because because the federal government can make a law, and then the state can make a law, and that law can be more restrictive than the federal government's, but not looser. Uh -huh. And then the city and the county can make ordinances. Laws that are also that can also be more restrictive, but not looser than the federal. So our laws interact, like SB 1070. That was a state law that was mimicking federal law. Right, but um, I would say SB 1070, the provisions associated with that, border patrol agents don't have authority to enforce provisions of SB 1070. Exactly. There's there's interrelation there where you may turn over individuals to the border patrol or whatnot that come into your pur purview uh, while enforcing those laws, but the actual law and the statutory enforcement is done by separate entities. Exactly. Okay. We, we, we would cite and charge people for different laws. Okay. But they mimic each other because states and... Oh, sure. Sure. But there's still a, you, you would agree that there's a separation, there's a jurisdictional uh, separation. Absolutely. They, the laws may say the same thing, but nonetheless, for you to enforce uh, immigration law, it has to be a state passed immigration law, Correct. assuming. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, so has the, the greater, uh, you mentioned um, uh, grant money uh, from the federal government with regards to um, assistance at these checkpoints. Is that something relatively new uh, for Pima County? Do you know if that, my increase of seeing you guys here at this checkpoint, is that related to grant money that you've received uh, for this fiscal year or this fiscal quarter? I still know anything about the grant money. Okay, so you, you were just told, uh, were you specifically told to, uh, uh, to, um, uh, to station yourself here at this checkpoint? Or is this under your own um, discretion? As patrolling uh, the highway, you've decided to stay here for a little amount of time and and watch traffic going uh, by the checkpoint. No, this particular each um, each date or or grant is written for a specific amount of time in a specific location. So this is being so this specifically is the paid specific for. Location okay. Right here for a specific amount of time, and actually um, the information is that I'm supposed to stay here. I have to bring food, water, use the porta potties. I stay here for eight hours. Oh, okay. So this, your operation right now is uh, in furtherance of a grant, grant, grant money that you've received from the federal government to specifically be here and provide some level of support and assistance. Yes. Okay. And food and uh, food and water. You bring food and water to the border patrol agents. No, to myself. To yourself. Okay. All right. I have to be here all day. I okay. gotta eat and drink just like the rest of you. Oh sure, uh, that's fully understandable. I would have been a little bit surprised if you were uh, if you were the servants of the uh, the agency they, bringing them uh, bringing them food. They, and stuff. they take care of themselves. I, I would hope so. Um, what do you know about the um, um, the camera surveillance array system down uh, here, just about a half a mile, basically right over the hill? 